And so this has been four days already. Yeah. And so this has been four days already. Yeah. Now, you'll feel me touching and you'll feel some pressure, but you shouldn't feel anything that hurts, and I'm going to just double check that before we start. Okay. This is just a little antiseptic. So I'm just going to check. If I do this, do you feel anything that hurts over here? No. Just pressure? First thing I'm gonna, well, I won't give you a play by play. I don't see anything here that looks like an infection. Oh, it's off already? It is off already. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I don't see anything, you know, there's no tears in the, the skin under the nail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you some um, Telfa, which is like the non-stick part of a Band-Aid. It's pretty easy to come off, huh? Yeah, it was mostly off. So this is Telfa. It's like the nonstick okay. part of a Band-Aid. So I'm gonna just put a little antibiotic cream on there and then I'll give you enough of these to cut them in half and put one on like a day okay. for the next maybe week or so. But this skin here is just gonna toughen up like the skin next to it. Okay. okay? Um, it's not even bleeding anymore. I think that the odor you had was just maybe from the water from the shower getting under it. Oh yeah, probably, because I was soaking it too every night. Oh, okay, great. But I didn't really go in and try to dry it inside, which just hurt. No, no, no. <laughs> there would have been no way to do that. So. All right, so if you have some bacitracin or neosporin. I did neosporin, yeah. Okay, so just put a little bit of that on for the next few days. And as soon as you feel like you don't need to keep it covered anymore, you don't need to. Okay. And then we'll just put this on. And then... So is that um, going to grow back eventually? It will grow back, yes. I don't know if it'll be thick or thin or... Most likely it's going to grow back exactly how it was <laughs> because I don't think that that was fungal. Um, it was just colored and... Yeah, I was going to come in anyway and... Yeah, we trimmed it about a month ago, right? Or was that a year ago? Probably a year or oh, more. Okay. <laughs> I just saw the July 1st and I thought, oh, she was just here a few weeks ago. No, so it was a year. Okay. Yeah. So just a piece of the Telfa and then you can cover it with a Band-Aid like that. And that way nothing is going to stick to that tender skin. And here's, you know, here's a bunch of pieces for you. Okay. All right, as long as I got my nail cutters out, may I cut that second toenail? Yeah, I've been working on it. <laughs> did, you, did you want to see the big toenail? You know, I would. Okay, so just this corner was maybe still attached? Just this corner, that's the only that's place what I have it a feeling, doesn't it? Yeah. I looked at it when it was all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to trim this one and we'll thin this one out. Because I'm not bringing my computer into every room during you know, COVID right now, mm -hmm. um, I'll look at the last chart note and I saw it said 7 1, but I didn't look at the year <laughs> <laughs> before I walked in. Sorry. Oops, that one hit the wall. All right, and let me just thin this out a little bit.
great. So, um, Looks normal. <laughs> yeah. So here's the other thing that I think we could do is um, let's send this nail in for a test and see if it comes back positive for fungus. If it does, then we'll give you some topical to treat the nail bed with while the new nail's growing out and see if we can oh, okay. get it to resolve. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and send that in. Thank you for letting us video. Yeah, you're welcome.